Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens and today is December 5th, 2011. So we have another incident of chemicals making people sick and this time it's at a school, which it usually has been since I've started noticing these. In Northeast Philadelphia. Hazmat crews are trying to determine why dozens of people who attended an event at Father Judge High School on Sunday are now complaining of severe eye irritations. There was a cheerleading competition at Northeast Philadelphia School. Some who attended began having symptoms shortly after arriving. Others fell ill later in the evening. At last check, as many as 50 people had taken themselves to area hospitals for treatment. As you may or may not know, there's been a lot of this going on lately, this year. I have a whole playlist dedicated to these type of events, and I'm just going to go over some of them with you, and this is only a small portion of them. Mysterious incident leaves more than 20 high schoolers sick. This happened in Houston, Texas, in early November. And it, w it ended up being 23 people who went to the hospital, 22 students, and one of the firefighters who was there to help, was also overtaken by these fumes. Hialeah, Florida, early November. A Hialeah middle school was evacuated after a strong chemical smell filled the air. Fourteen children were taken to Palmetto General Hospital to be checked out. Mystery odor forces evacuation of health center. And this took place in Canada on the border of Canada and Michigan. Approximately 10 workers were sent home after feeling nauseous and complaining of headaches from a mystery odor source unknown. Dozens of people were made sick. Hazmat teams from across the area met in Presque Isle County Wednesday after dozens reported getting sick and showed signs of chemical burns during a volleyball game, which is what just happened yesterday. Sounds like the same exact thing at the cheerleading event. Ohio Middle School, students sickened by odor, early October. Emergency officials say an odor that sickened nearly 50 students at Southwest Ohio Middle School came from an herbicide sprayed on a nearby field. Six of those students were sent to the hospital. Late November, 16 students taken to the hospital due to an odor. That's, again, a small fraction. Now, I just want to kind of get into the fact that I know I made a video relating these incidents to fracking but I don't believe that they can all be from fracking fracking is terrible it needs to stop but it's probably just a willing patsy for these events I think these are controlled events I mean some of the cases might be fracking some of them might be nothing at all that we should be concerned about but there's just too much going on to be ignored. There's something going on. And I believe it's controlled releases due to the fact of the excuses that are given outright, just excuses without investigation or just leaving it as an unknown. This is a very scary time to have your children in schools because it's obvious to me that they're testing on them. And I'm, I know that's a little drastic, but what the hell else is going on? They're not warning anybody about it. They're not saying, you know, they're not announcing the fact that this pattern is happening, but it is, and they know it. They have to know it, because we know it. So that's just a little concerning, that they aren't expressing concern. Leads me to believe even more that this is controlled releases. That happened here in Tucson on the weekend of Black Friday. It was on Sunday. Um, there was a strange odor at the mall, of all places, of course, because they know there's going to be a lot of people there, and they had to evacuate. You just do a little bit of research, you're going to see all these cases, so too many to even count. So I don't know about the whole fracking thing. Again, fracking needs to stop. It's awful. But something else is really going on. And I leave you with our final event which is from today which is 44 people sent to the hospital thanks for watching much love
at this hour. Hazmat crews are trying to determine why dozens of people who attended an event at Father Judge High School yesterday are now complaining of severe eye irritations today. They were all at a cheerleading competition at the Northeast Philadelphia School. Action News reporter Chad Padelli joins us live at the school now with the latest. Chad. Rick, the fire department, health department, and other city officials have been here throughout the morning trying to find the source of this irritant. So far, it's not been found, but at last check, dozens of people have taken themselves to local hospitals to get treatment. I don't even know how to explain the feeling. It was just like they felt like they were on fire. Angela Emilio's eyes are red and swollen. She and her daughter have been putting warm compresses on their eyes, trying to flush whatever has been burning them since they left Father Judge High School Sunday afternoon. When we were at the gym, they were just burning, and they just kept watering. I blinked when, once we got in the car, and I couldn't open my eyes. And when I did, it looked like I must have been crying for, like, hours. <laughs> The fire department is now working to identify the source of the irritation. So far, the cause is unclear. We do have the health department uh, en route, and where there's a doctor en route and a chemist who will do all that analysis and hopefully identify what the problem is. been here since 5 o'clock in the morning and um, looking to see how we can help those who are, who are sick right now. So that's our major concern right now. The high school was already closed today for an in-service day, preventing more exposure. The Melios are concerned about any long-term complications the irritant may cause. Their eyes still burn, and they're now going to go to the hospital for evaluation, while officials try and get a clear picture of what went wrong. I feel like they're brighter than usual and they're and I actually am kind of a little bit my eyes are a little blurry and you can see outside of Father Judge High School not a lot of activity most if not all of the responders have since left now we should mention that a student here at the high school did come down with MRSA a serious staff and staff infection a couple of weeks ago in the school did undergo a comprehensive cleaning but the archdiocese diocese tells me that they do not believe that those cleaning solutions or those chemicals used to clean the school had any connection to what happened here yesterday. I'm live in Northeast Philadelphia, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Chad, thank you. Another